Okay, right? Yeah. No, I'm into that. Let's do it. It's freely given. It's not a pressure. Yes. It's all good. So just because you got excited, you went to the class weekend, it doesn't mean that you have to do whatever this weekend. And it's sober. And what about men who are raped? What about children who are raped? Were their tits out? Probably not. So the problem with this mentality is that it really misses the driving cause of rape, which is someone making a deliberate choice to violate another person. And that choice may be supported by our society and our culture, right? But they still made that choice, and that person should be held accountable for it. Three key ways. One, it normalizes and trivializes sexual assault. How can we really shift our attitude to take sexual assault seriously when we're sitting around in a group laughing about it, right? It makes it seem like it's a normal thing. And for perpetrators or people who have predatory attitudes, it absolutely reinforces their view of the world that this is a normal way to behave. This is a normal thing that people do, right? This guy stuff, you know, elbow rub. I've seen it myself, it happens all the time. It degrades and triggers survivors. You saw the numbers in any given group where a rape joke was told, odds are at least someone in that group has been violated. And you just brought up their experience to the front of their mind. And lastly, and this is the worst one, is that a rape murderer's rapists, right? You know who laughs at rape jokes? People who think rape is okay. They are absolutely in the group of people that are laughing about it. And they think that when it comes to jokes and comedy and juicy culture or whatever, the real question we ask ourselves is, who's laughing with me? Speak up. Use your voice. Your voice matters. Yes, it does. It never does. It absolutely matters. Let's take action. Let's get things done at an institutional level. Let's take care of it for y'all.